Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with SBR contributor Jordan Sharp and today we're going to be looking at how those odds have been acting up for the game between the Washington Redskins and the Indianapolis Colts. How are you doing today Jordan? Doing good Dax, thanks man. Alrighty brother, so lines makers opened this one favoring the Colts at minus 10 and a half and since then that line's dropped to 10 and even in some cases to 9 and a half. Now the Redskins come into this game with a 3 and 8 straight up record and a 4 and 7 against the spread record. While the Colts have been a lot better on both sides, you know, they've been covering the uh, the spread 8 and 3 and they've gone 7 and 4 straight up. Now, I mean, the game right now it's just pretty much something else cuz we're not going to see RG3 playing. We're going to actually see Colt McCoy start for this game as John Gruden already said that apparently they have better chances of winning this game against the Colts with McCoy under center. The thing is here, dude, I really don't believe that with any quarterback they have the chances to beat Andrew Luck and the Colts. But, I mean, what do you think, dude? Yeah, I think you're right. I, I mean, uh, if, if you think that uh, Colt McCoy is an upgrade from RG3, even if he is, it's not much of an upgrade. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, – this game is going to probably still be – uh, well in the favor of Indianapolis by the time the game ends. The question is, is it going to be by 10 or more points uh, with the odds settling here? looks like they're settling around 9.5. The few books that still have it at 10, 10.5 are slowly kind of dropping it down. So uh, my favorite play for this one I think would probably be a teaser. I'm not sure if I trust the Indianapolis Colts completely to cover this 10 points, but I think teasing them down to maybe 3.5 and, a half and uh, teasing – Teasing the total as well down uh, to bet the over, I think might not be a pretty bad play here. The uh, the Colts, I, I like them, but um, you know I don't know what exactly you're going to get from Washington and Colt McCoy here. You could get a better than average game, so that I think could really put the spread it, uh, with some more volatility. So I'm not I'm not sure if I'm going to touch this game other than a teaser. But uh, what do you think, Dax? Yeah, I agree, man. I mean the the whole point of getting a tease, uh, what like six points, right? It would be in this case. Yeah, six or seven, depending on which way you want. Yeah, I think with six points would be suffice. I mean, if you want to go all the way and take the seven, that would be great. But, you know, six would be enough. And considering the fact that, you know, we do have a different quarterback, the team, at least in the Redskins, should start scoring a little bit more points, which, which could help, uh, help with that total on the over in this case. But, yeah, I definitely agree with you, man. Yeah, and another thing, just a note, you know, the Redskins defense has still been, you know, at least solid so far this season, if not pretty good, you know, considering. So they still have that going for them. That's another one of the reasons why it's just the, uh, you know, it opened at eight. It's already up to nine and a half. I think any value has been bet out of the Colts right now and just they probably just either lay off or bet a teaser on this one. I agree totally, man. All right, Jordan, as always, my man, it's a pleasure talking football with you, and we're going to do this again next week, man. All right, thanks, Dax. No problem. For SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.